quick update on my six month challenge of not purchasing anything. Hi guys, it's Mel with Well by Mel. Um, I'm doing a quick video on my phone. Hopefully it works, I don't know, but my husband has a laptop and that's what I usually use, but he's out of town with that. But I wanted to do a quick update and it's easiest I'm thinking if I record on here and then just instantly upload, I don't know. But we'll see. So I had a six month challenge of to not purchase anything because I don't want anything else coming into my house. So obviously that has nothing to do with food and gas and things that I need to um, use. But I have my one month um, credit card statement and my um, banking statement so I can kind of go over and see how it went. So I wanted to share that with you. So one month of not bringing anything into the house. And this is what it kind of looked like for me. So right here I have um, my statement from my banking card, which is um, I usually only use my banking card for food at Woodman's. So that came up to $170. And then I looked at my credit card statement and I had $100 worth of food purchases on there. So in total all month I've spent $270 just on food, which is a lot because my husband also goes shopping once a month for the main food, but then I go like every two days. And like I said, I wasn't going to um, try to save any money on food. I was just going to purchase healthy, nutritious food whenever I need to, and that tends to be every couple days. Um, I have on here gas. I spent $104 on gas for my Saturn. And then I also have $50, so I'm paying for my student loans, and it's only $50 a month. So that is coming out of there. And then I still have my cell phone, which is $140. I know I said I was going to get rid of it. I haven't done that yet. I'm still deciding because I found out that our work, so our work internet is not very good. And um, I tend to use my phone while I'm there talking to clients and multitasking. Um, otherwise, I'd have to wait until I got home. So I'm still deciding. I got something in the mail that actually says, like, I, they gave me a, an extra free um, gigabyte and some cloud thing. And I don't really know much about what any of that means. Um, I'm not very techy, but I'm going to discuss it with my husband first to see if it's worth keeping. Um, but then others. So others is the extra expenses. This is where I want to cut down on. And what I have so far for others is about $102 in one month. And that's what I spent on other things. So what my others were this month were, and I wrote all of them down just so I could see what they were. And I have, um, I spent $5 at Target. My son purchased me something for Christmas and we had to exchange it. And it, the thing that we got that he helped me pick out was $5 more than what he had spent. It was a little watch and it was very cute. So I did spend, I rounded it up to $5 at Target for a gift. Um, I spent $5 on a night out. We went out to the comedy club and I spent $5 on a drink. And again, that's rounding up. Um, my son had a birthday party and I went to the dollar store and got a bunch of decorations. And that was $12. Um, I paid $30 for my Zumba certification. So I teach Zumba. And it's $30 a month just to stay certified, which is a pretty much a necessity. I should put that in monthly. It's not really other. That's something that comes out every month. Um, and the last thing, which was a, the biggest expense, was my haircut for $45. And again, if I hadn't been losing my hair, I wouldn't have cut my hair off. Like I said, I was going to keep it long so I didn't have to spend the money on that. So that is $45 that I won't spend next month. So $102 worth of extras is what I have on this um, this month. I put $100 into savings. And so, yeah, I think that's pretty good. Um, so 100 extra dollars that I spent on things such as birthdays, going out, um, my certification, and my haircut. So not too bad for the first month. Um, each month I'll just come back and I'll update you. So a couple of things that um, I haven't been purchasing Specifically, as I haven't gone into the cosmetics section at Walmart or any other place. I have my red lips, but I actually bought this um, quite a while ago. It was in my drawer that I hadn't been using. I haven't bought anything like coffee or extra drinks. Um, I haven't purchased any clothes. I actually returned some clothes. iPod, I actually contacted um, Capital One because I got an iPod with my rewards. And they actually let me return it. So I'm going to put that money towards a new blender. I am almost have the right amount that I need to get a 
free blender with my credit card rewards. So I'm just going to wait a little bit longer and then um, purchase a brand new blender because their blender is, is almost out of commission. Um, otherwise, I, f I have finding it a little bit easier. Um, I still really have to look through my clothes and get rid of some more stuff. There's, Like I said, I want to put some stuff on eBay um, so that I can get rid of clutter and see what I do have. But I do believe that there's a lot of things I still want to get rid of. And truthfully, I don't have much of a desire to purchase anything. Um, I got a gift card to um, a store that has a lot of decor. And I walk through and I realize there's not one thing that I want to bring into my house at all. Like, I don't want any more decorations. I don't want any pillows. I don't want anything. So it was kind of exciting to have this gift card and go, I don't really, even with free money, I don't want to purchase. I don't want to bring things into my house. So one thing I have to work on is figuring out what I'm going to do with some of these gift cards um, that I don't think I really want to use. Maybe I'll resell them. I know there's a gift card um, exchange online that maybe I'll look into and you can sell yours for a little less than cost, but then you can put it towards something you might use, like gas. You know, I spent over $100 in gas last month. So that is one of my other options. So there you go. One month down, um, and I think I'm doing a pretty good job. I hope to keep it up and purchase nothing that's going to stay in this house unless it's something I really need and try to figure out a way not to spend money on it. And... Um, keep getting rid of the stuff that's in my house. Otherwise, that is all. I hope you guys are all having a great day. I have uh, got to go put some things on eBay now. All right, I will talk to you guys all soon. Uh, leave some questions below if you have any. And have a great rest of your week.